I'm here with the uh, Veckle Lakers legend, Colby <laughs> yeah. Armstrong. <laughs> uh, is that something uh, I can call you? Yes. Yeah. You find sure, it? I'll take it. Yeah. The, they might not agree in Vekwa, but yeah, <laughs> I'll take it. What's your best memories from being in Sweden? Um, I think the pace, just the pace is different, like day to day. Fika, ride my bike around town, not a big town, so it was like comfy. Um, and it was just like comfortable living there. Like there, it was just like easy to get around. Um, we had those lakes right in downtown and everything. So I think the outdoor aspect of being able to bike or go for walks, uh, everyone kind of does it and you don't see it as much over here. It was really cool. I guess you set the standard because all they do is winning these days. Yeah, I heard. I know. Yeah. Yeah. We were we were good when I was there too. Like I, I we I think I think we should have made it to the final personally, but we fell short. But we had a really good team, and I give them credit. Every year they seem to put together some you know really good teams. The year after I left, they won the championship too, and have have been you know a contending team almost every year. So it's pretty amazing. The fans there get get a good product every year. How do you feel about Eric Carlson coming here to Pittsburgh? Oh, I'm excited about it. Um, uh, you know, obviously the last few years in Pittsburgh have been kind of not the norm for, you know, expectations with the core guys that they have here. But, you know, Kyle Dubas comes in and then all of a sudden, can it happen? And it, and it does with like a three-way massive trade. Uh, and they get him and watching him so far has been amazing. I never know what he's going to do when he gets a puck. Um, he's exciting. Uh, he, I think fans will love watching him. Um, and I also, I think he just improves in a, the team in a lot of different areas. So, yeah, we got one of the one of the best one of the best team men of this generation to come here and play with some guys that are already pretty good and should be exciting. I guess you met him a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, I got to talk with him uh, first day of training camp. I was here and got to, got to chat with him. I played against him. I remember him coming in as a rookie in Ottawa and obviously seeing the way he's progressed in his career. It kind of came in at a time where the game was changing, which I think obviously benefited him, but he would have been good no matter what. The way he skates, even from the start when he came in, it's like, hey, make sure you finish your checks on him up ice because if you don't, he's gone. And uh, yeah, he's made a, made a living out of doing that and making people look slow a lot of times. But I think it's his creativity too. Like one is confidence. His skills, his skating, like everything that goes with it is, uh, is amazing. It leads him to be unpredictable, dangerous, and one of a kind. What was your reaction just a couple of hours ago when Buffalo announced that they signed uh, Rasmus to uh, I saw that, eight yeah. Eight-year, 11, eight year, 11 million. million dollar deal. I know there's speculation, what's it going to be? And everyone thought in a certain range and, you know, he's their guy. So skilled, skilled, bigger than people think he is too. Like he's a big kid. Um, and he's also a little, a little nasty as well. He's play, has a little mean streak to his game. So, um, yeah, he's like a, he's like, what do you call it? Like a pillar. Yeah. He's like a pillar for them on the back end, no question. In any situation, any part of the game, and um, with a bright future that Buffalo's trending towards, he's obviously a big part of that. You and Matt Murley, the former Timro player, is uh, working together now. Uh, how, how is it to have, uh, have him around? Oh, it's great. I played in the minors with him here in Pittsburgh, and spent a ton of time with him and obviously don't get to see him too much just because he lives in Sweden um, and has his family there. Congrats Merles on baby number two. That's awesome but he's always pumping Timra. He's on the Timra train all the time. It's his favorite team um, but anytime we get to see him in, in, in real life when we do events or anything like that and working with him it's kind of fun. I didn't think he would be like good at that doing what he's doing now with media and, and spitting chiclets but he's, he's doing a great job and um, he's entertaining and fun, and anytime you get to hang out with an old buddy and old teammate, I'm happy. So keep an eye out for him in Timra. He's a menace. He's a menace in town. 